Starting playing the piano was totally my parents pushing it on me. My mom had been talking about me or talking about it for months with me. And eventually I just kind of gave in to her will and tried it. And the agreement was that I would try it for a month and I was like, fine. But after the month was up, I was already in love. And I ended up playing for a few years after that. I'm still really shy when it comes to playing the piano. Even if I know I know a song like by heart, I can play it like blindfolded and probably backwards. Oh gosh, it's it's nerve wracking. Like because music is always such a, like personal expression because it's art, and you pick the songs that you like and you play the songs like according to the way you feel. It's kind of like more or less putting yourself out there, and so it's really nerve wracking. I mean, my mom told me. Um, she could always tell how I was feeling by the ways that I played the songs. She could tell when I was sad or when I was happy, if I played like a slow song or a fast song. I think I definitely have gained an appreciation for music, definitely through um, learning how to play the piano and the guitar. It, it brought a new light to music for me. It wasn't just something you listen to. It was something you could interact with. It, could some, it was something you could be a part of. Yeah, I just, I've really learned to see it as something that's an art form, but also like a work, you know? It's a product. It's something you've put your heart into and that you've made and that you can present. And I think that's a different way that people see music. I don't think a lot of people that don't play an instrument really appreciate the technique and the hard work that goes into playing an instrument well. If a performer messes up, it's, I understand that, you know, they're, they're only a human. I know they've worked very hard. They've been performing all this time. Um, it's not really a sympathy thing. It's just kind of like a, yeah, everybody makes mistakes. Like just keep moving on. Um, but I don't know. Um, when it comes to watching music, you're really feeling whatever the musician wants you to feel. You can tell when the musician is not really into what they're playing. So if the musician is nervous, you can really feel it in the way that they're playing. Like their notes aren't as strong. Our first assignment was to actually play in front of all of our friends and family at this little thing called the Cafe Night. And it was basically an open mic, except we were forced to be there. Um, and it was, oh, it was terrible. We played Evanescence, um, what was it called? What's the song called? Bring Me to Life or something. Just total, oh, it was such a train wreck, but everybody loved it. And I just remember I was super nervous before, and I was super nervous afterwards just because everyone around me was so talented. And it was a total train wreck, but I know the whole time I was feeling super confident. I was like, I got this. <laughs> I would just say the biggest takeaway when playing music is just have confidence, have faith in the work that you've done. Um, really like let it come from you because what you give to the audience, the audience really feels. I mean, you might be playing it directly as the composer wrote it, but you know, there's differences in the way that everybody plays and you gotta let that come through. Um, if you're nervous, just fake being confident until you are confident. Um, if you're confident, just rock it.